What's happening, people? This week marks a special week for the Blair Project as we turn six years old. Six years? Six years, Blair. Whoa. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Madness. And to kick things off, we decided we're going to set up a new weekly video series on YouTube discussing everything from how we first started, where we're at now, and the exciting developments that are coming up in the Blair Project. And to make sure we do this thing in style and kick it off in the right way, we're going to hear from the inspiration himself, Mr. Blair Henry. So yeah, guys, from a very young age, I've always had a keen passion for motorsport. I always used to love watching Formula One with all my family. So watching Michael Schumacher and hearing all the stories about how he built that Ferrari team around him. So how he made them successful and got the best out of everyone to achieve uh, seven world championships. And just to say, Blair's actual first word was car. Car. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, um, I just love the uh, team building that um, Michael Schumacher used to make himself so successful. And I've always wanted to um, base myself around his success, not only as a driver, but as a person, because what I'd like to do is just bring the best out of everyone around me. So as I say, as the Blair Project motto is, no one person can create success on their own. It takes a team and it helps me develop as a person. So, And just to give you a little bit of background about myself, at the age of 18, I've just come back from traveling the world, went to America and Australia. I was meant to go for a year, but actually came back home after four months, uh, backpacker life. Uh, and I decided that I wanted to set up my own business and try and help my younger brother's dream come true of being a racing driver. He's a good man. He's a good man. I know, right? I know. <laughs> So I decided to set up the Blair Project to try and make motorsport more affordable, accessible and inclusive. So regardless of your gender or background, anybody can take part. And another passion of mine is trying to make motorsport more diverse. So you get more black talent coming through uh, and trying to change the game. So and how we did that and we, what we decided is that in order to change the game, we're going to need to start our own racing series. And that's where the concept of Proto GP came in. And what we did is we used computer-aided design to design bodywork for the go-kart and use 3D printing to 3D print the bodywork, apply that onto an existing go-kart chassis. And then we came up with ProtoGP and we piloted that project in the summer of 2016. And we were very fortunate enough to have His Royal Highness Prince Harry come down to our first test day, which was absolutely amazing, gave us national exposure, but also international exposure. After fending off the fans, the Prince then moved to the Blair Project, which creates motorsport schemes to get young people into pursuing careers in science and technology. Josh here is from Atherton. He's testing a 3D printed go-kart. Yeah. How long have you been driving go-karts for? I've not, so I'm all an adult crap. <laughs> <laughs> the organisers here say that support like this from royalty is just invaluable. Having Prince Harry down, it was amazing. I mean... He gave so much time to everyone who was mm. on the circuit. He was mm. really down to earth guy, very pleasant. I took a keen interest in uh, everyone's uh, stories. I mean, me and myself, I had a conversation with Prince Harry. He was really interested in how I, where I want to go with my uh, racing career. The young people were really excited about having him down, and you know, I really look forward to seeing him again in the future. Definitely, and big up sporting. Uh, they've been amazing and they were the, the masterminds behind getting Prince Harry to our first test day. So I've got nothing but love for sporting. And on the back of ProtoGP, we decided, let's turn up the heat a little bit. And we've came up with the concept of Proto-EV. And that was getting young people to convert used petrol go-karts and turn them into high-powered electric go-karts, which they get to test and race to see which is the fastest, but also the most energy efficient. And it's all about trying to get more young people into engineering and tech. Join us tomorrow and the rest of this week as we'll be discussing some of the young people who we've helped get motoring so that they can pursue their careers in motorsport. These young people include Matty Street, Gina Watkinson and Michael Lawrenson. And if you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel and go and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Get Me Motoring on Facebook, The Blair Project, and here, The Blair Project 1. Peace out. Later, y'all.